Hey everyone, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how you can support your tomatoes in a much easier method that you might have not heard about before. Now this method is called the Florida weave, and it's very simple. You only need two items. So the first thing you need is a T-post. So this is a seven foot T-post, and I pounded it into the ground a couple feet. And on the other side of the bed, I have another T-post. And then in the middle of the bed, I have a support. You can use a wood stake or anything for support in the center. And the other item you need is twine. And I'm using this from Tractor Supply, and this is Baylor's twine. And I picked this up, two rolls like this, for about 30 bucks. It's very cheap. And this will last years. So the idea is what you first do is you tie the string to the bottom and then you go in and out, in and out of the tomato plants and they're all planted in a row. Then on the way back, you come back the opposite way and you're basically sandwiching the string between the tomato plants. Now there's other methods to supporting tomato plants. There's cages, stakes, trellises. And this is the first year that I do this method and I'm finding it one of the most easiest. Now the reason I was looking for a different method is because I basically tripled my tomato plants this year. So I have this bed as well as two other 16 foot beds, which I'll show you in a minute. So in the 16 foot bed, you can see that I have the two posts here and these have the nubs on them, which are helpful. They support, they can support the string. Again, these are seven foot T posts. If you can find the eight foot T posts, I'd recommend that because you get a little more height on them. However, those are a little more tricky to find. The T posts I found at Tractor Supply, Home Depot, Lowe's, the big box stores that I checked, they had much smaller T posts. So you're gonna have to go to one of your farm supply companies to find the larger tea post. The plants are sandwiched in between and supported. And every week or so, I'll go through and I'll just add another line as they grow. Now, as far as spacing, I find a lot of beginners will try to space their plants too tightly. And these plants are spaced at one plant per four square feet. And I'm also pruning them aggressively. I had a different strategy this year where I'm pruning just the leaves and I'm leaving all of the stems and I'm not pruning the suckers. The strategy is to try to get as many flowers as I can. And then later on this season, I'll clip the tops. Another point when you're using this method is you wanna make sure that the string is very tight. That's really one of the reasons for the support in the middle to ensure that you have tension throughout the line because the longer the span, the less tension you'll have on this row. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how this is done. Now you can see over here, I have one line already done and it's weaved throughout the plants. So I'm gonna to start to tie my second line to sandwich them. Now you can do the whole thing, tie to this post, go down to the other post, come back and then tie it. Or you can just tie it here, run through once, tie at the end and then start another line. Fine with the 16 foot span, it's easier to tie one line, get it tight, and then retie the other line. All right, then we can see the first plant here is on that side of the line. So I'll bring it up over here, then I'll just weave it. All right, then as I come back, let me show you this plant. This plant is over here. Now, it has a branch that's coming out. All I'll do is pull it in, words, while making sure that the line stays here. Then, it's just sandwiched like so. And then I'm gonna do the whole line 
Then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, now, now I've made it to the center post. And you can see that it should be higher than the last one. And you wanna wrap it around, pull it tight, and wrap it around a few times. And this center post will give it some additional support. All right, now I'll keep working my way down to the other four plants. So now that I've come to the end, we pull this tight. Everything's tightened up. And I'm just gonna cut the line. I'm gonna tie it very tightly right here. Now, the nice thing is you don't have to just use this for tomatoes. You also can use it for peppers. Now, pepper plants I find myself always having to support. And I want you to check this out here. So, in this bed, I have half tomatoes, and then I have peppers. These peppers were planted a little late, and they're not doing as well, but they'll, they'll catch up. Put my stake at this end of the bed, and the peppers were so small at the time when I was putting the first couple lines on this side, but what I can do after is I can come by and do the same thing to the pepper plants that I did to the tomatoes. So um, just a bonus tip, you can also use this for peppers. The line that I'm using, this is the orange line, polypropylene, uh, barrelers twine, if you're interested in, in using this, but this will last really, this will last me forever. Well, I hope this video gave you a really good overview of the Florida weed. And I hope you might try this in your garden. If you found this helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. And also check out all of my other helpful gardening videos. Thanks for watching. And if you're ready to start planting your next spring garden, head over to plantbygard.com. It's as easy as entering your location, selecting your garden layout, and choosing the veggies you want to grow. We'll then do the rest, send you your personalized PDFs with visual planting schedules, helpful guides, and layout optimized for maximum yields. Get started now and visit plantbygard.com today. You also might be interested in this video on the left, how to prune tomatoes to get an earlier harvest, and this video on the right, which is my most recent.